welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. Okay, so you've taken delivery of your 3D printer and it comes with a roll of filaments. And what I'm going to show you is how to start the printer up and insert the filament to begin printing. We're going to turn the printer on at the power box. Okay, so to get into the menu you want to hit this little button here. That takes you into the menu. And to scroll through the menu you roll the knob. So turn it to the left to go down. Go to prepare. Then go to preheat ABS because we're using ABS plastic. And then choose the first option, preheat ABS. What this will do is preheat the bed as well as the nozzle. So I'll select that. And you can tell the bed is now trying to get up to 115 degrees Celsius. And the extruder is getting up to 230 degrees Celsius. So when it is at 230 degrees Celsius, we'll then insert the filament. And we can begin printing after that. Okay, so we've waited for the extruder to get up to temperature. It's at 230 degrees Celsius. We can now insert the filaments into the extruder. As for the bed, we do not have to wait for that to get up to 115 degrees Celsius. So we can go ahead with inserting the filament. And what we're going to do is place the filament behind the printer or above the printer if you have a shelf and you want to make sure that the filament is coming off the top of the roll. We're ready to insert our filament, thread that over the top rail, and then insert the filament into the hole at the top of the extruder. Apply a bit of pressure from the top down, then pull the guidler away. This releases the compression on the filament, allowing it to go through. And while you're doing that, turn this gear. Once you start to feel the filament feeding through, you can release everything and just turn the gear by itself. And you'll notice that it starts to pull the filament through. If you keep your finger at this point, you can feel the filament slide into the barrel. You can then just simply roll the gear and allow the filament to be driven through the extruder all the way to the bottom and eventually you'll see melted plastic coming out the nozzle at the bottom of the extruder. Okay, so we've inserted our filament into the extruder and we're now ready to print. So we navigate into the menu by hitting the knob, scroll down to print from SD card, and then select our print job. So we're gonna be printing a squirtle. That's this print right here and select and we're now waiting for the bed to heat up to 115 degrees celsius which it already is at 115 degrees celsius it's now going to auto level the bed and begin printing so. so this auto leveling part of the process, we'll use the proximity sensor to measure the height of the bed at 16 different points and it will then also correct for any angle difference in the bed. So if you notice any excess plastic gathering onto the bed while it's printing, take a tweezer or a pliers, pair of pliers, and pull it off 
if you can manage to do that while it's printing. If you can't, then you can stop the print and restart it with a clean bed. So I'm actually going to do that in this case because it seems like it's going to mess up the print job. So I'll go into the menu again and scroll all the way down to stop print. Stop the print. And we want to take that plastic off the bed. So to get access to it, we have to lift this axis up a little bit. So in the menu, scroll to prepare. Then go to move axis. Move the axis by one millimeter at a time. And then move the Z axis. And we then scroll in the positive direction to move the axis upwards. And we now have access to the plastic on the bed. We can remove that with a tweezer or a pair of pliers. And we can try reprinting it. So go back to the main menu and go to print from SD card and select your print job again. So if you notice, while it's heating up, it's pushing out excess plastic. It might be worth taking that excess plastic off the nozzle before it begins printing so that this doesn't happen. And while leveling the bed, you'll notice that the proximity sensor or the nozzle sometimes comes very close to hitting the clips on the edge of the bed. So if that ever happens, you need to reposition the clips on the edge of the bed. And while the first layer is printing, you want to observe it closely, make sure that the plastic is sticking onto the bed and that every consecutive ring is joined to each other. So it's now printing the second layer. The first layer seems to have printed quite well. So it seems like this print will be quite reliable. When you become confident enough for the printer, you could just walk away from it and allow it to print the whole, the whole part and come back. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.